Hey everybody, this is Christina with Blue Jeans Crafts and today I am going to show you my weeks 11 and 12 in my 2015 album. So let's get started. Um, I am still using my Gossamer Blue um, monthly kits and I'm also using my stash. So um, just to let you know ahead of time, um, let's see. Oops, oops. Alright, here is week 11. And on week 11, um, this is my title um, little card here. I decided to do a small one since I was using Design D. Um, I don't use Design D very often, but um, I had a few things that I wanted to go vertically on this side, so I had to work with it for this week. Um, this is a Gossamer Blue card, um, a Teresa Collins sequence, which you'll see a lot in here. And um, this is a Heidi Swap little um, ephemera piece. Um, this is just um, a picture I found online. This is a Gossamer Blue card, and I believe this is from the March kit. And then this is just um, some stuff that I had lying around, some more sequins from my stash. Um, I just wanted to show off my new shirt. Um, I've been searching for a Beatles shirt and I found one and um, I love it. I found it at, um, at Target where my daughter works. This week um, we also had um, our spring school pictures and so this is my daughter's um, kindergarten picture. And this is just some ribbon that I cut out and um, adhered down to the card. This is just a white card that I put the picture on. And this is an old Martha Stewart fabric, like, fruit sticker pack that I had on my stash for years. And um, I used a couple of the apples um, here and one over here on this layout um, on this week. Um, the spring is here and... Um, what do you call it? Um, my husband decided to put the trampoline back up in our backyard. So that is um, them enjoying the trampoline outside. Um, this is when I got my March um, kit in the mail for Glosser Blue. Here's all the items. And then this card came in the kit and it says, I don't have issues. I have a subscription. And I thought that was just adorable. Um, this little chipboard sticker was from my stash, and I don't know where it's from. <laughs> Here's another card from Gossamer Blue, and um, it's just a collage showing um, one of my favorite shows, which is The Bachelor, and this was the finale this week. So that's just a collage of pictures of them, Chris and Whitney. Um, here is some more of the school pictures. We got the class pictures as well. So here's my daughter's kindergarten um, class picture. And um, this is another one of those Martha Stewart fabric fruit stickers. And then on the back is my daughter's sixth grade class picture. And the reason it's smaller is because she wanted to keep the original. So um, I just took a, a photograph of it and had it printed in a 5 by 7 size at Walgreens and um, just added some a mixture of thickers and stickers up here. Um, this chipboard sticker came in the February um, Gossamer Blue kit and this little smile one was inside the circle here. I just added um, an acrylic heart from Gossamer Blue here and that's pretty much all I did to that page. This is the end of week 11. Um, on the top two here, I just had a 12 by 12 sheet of this heart paper and I cut it into 4 by 6 size. Um, these are just my two daughters showing off their little um, sharks that they got. Um, they're little, the little peewee, um, what do you call it? Peewee, oh gosh, I can't remember what they're called. They're like those little pillow um, stuffed animals. So, um, they're, they're called peewees because they're tiny. Um, this is a little um, chipboard sticker 
that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a Pebbles pack of chipboard stickers. And I have that one there. And I have this one from that same pack. And then this one is also from that same pack. I have some of my favorite puffy hearts that I use all the time from Target. And then my journaling is just from my typewriter. I just typed it out and cut them out into strips and um, outlined them. And that's pretty much all I did. Um, these two um, are Gossamer Blue um, cards as well. Some more of the puffy hearts. Some uh, washi tape from the dollar section at Joann's. Um, this is um, just a picture of this awesome um, Coca-Cola aluminum can that's like shaped like a bottle. I thought it was really cool. My husband smashed the top for me so I could use it over here with my journaling. Um, here is, this is the week that we finally um, got our um, new mailbox installed. Um, these are our old mailboxes here. Uh, my daughter's standing in front of ours. I, I doodled a heart over. And then these are the new mail mailboxes. Um, my husband and our neighbor um, poured the concrete and um, installed this. So um, I was really proud of them for that. And then um, this is another chipboard sticker from that same Pebbles pack that I had from Hobby Lobby. And some more puffy hearts. And then these three go together. Um... We went to, I took my kids to see this new Cinderella movie, and um, this is just a picture um, from the theater, and um, these is a, actually a ribbon that I trimmed down. They're like little tickets on a ribbon. I've had that forever, and I just decided to um, cut some of those up. We also got to see the Frozen Fever short film, and it was adorable, and they loved it. And then here's just our tickets. Um, this is a Google image of a movie theater in the background. And then just some movie night um, printout printables that I had left over from the Oscar um, printables on week 9, I believe. And that is it for week 11. And then for week 12... Sorry, I have to hold the camera so this is not that easy. Um, my week 12 is a panoramic, um, photograph of, um, some of our garden in the front yard. I wanted to get some of the lilies, some of these bluish purple flowers, which I have no idea what they're called, and some tulips. And I use the Teresa Collins, um, numbers up here and just put week 12. And then this home, um, part here is a overlay from the... Heidi Swap, Becky Higgins, my mini overlay kit. And um, right here I have a photograph of a drawing that my daughter did for me. And um, this chipboard um, is actually an overlay from the same um, Heidi Swap, Becky Higgins mini kit. Here's a picture of the clouds I took um, that day. I thought they were beautiful. And um, this enjoy this um, piece here is actually an overlay as well. And I just um, tiny use my tiny attacher to attach that. Um, Dancing with the Stars started this week. And um, I just took a picture of the Bachelor um, dancing to Footloose um, on the first show. Um, this week, my husband had a, um, a few days off. And he we called it a staycation because he stayed home and relaxed. Since he does um, a pretty manual labor job and um he deserved to have some relaxation um this is a picture of my daughter in our room she had to get all of her favorite stuffed animals and have a group picture with them so that is her with her toys sorry about that my memory was full and i had to um fix my phone to get some more memory um i just told you about this one um, how my daughter wanted to take a group picture with her favorite stuffed animals. And then this is a picture of um, just a collage of pictures representing the 50th anniversary for The Sound of Music. 
Um, <clears throat> this week was also St. Patrick's Day week, and I did a little insert for that. Um, this is my oldest daughter. Um, she is holding one of those prop glasses for the picture and holding her, or has she has her bag of chocolate gold coins. And then I used some of these um, green flowers, fabric flowers that I got at Hobby Lobby. They're by Spare Parts um, Paper Studio. So I used a lot of those here. Um, this is a picture that my daughter drew for me. Um, this is a picture of the cupcakes we made for Thanks Pat St. Patrick's Day. And I just um, used my favorite um, Alpha stickers here. St. Patty's Day 2015. Um, here's some more of those flowers. Um, here's my daughter also with the prop glasses. Um, here's me and my daughter with the prop mustaches. And then here is my husband and my son with the props as well. And then my daughter has the prop that she made at school of the cat in the hat whiskers. And then this is just a picture of the chocolate gold coins that I gave to all the kids. This is just... Um, an update from my daughter's kindergarten class. We were just so proud of her, so I stuck it in the album. Um, just showing her levels of um, identifying letters and numbers and rhyming and reading and stuff like that. And we were most proud of her. Um, for kindergartners, they, re they should be, by the end of the year, um, reading um, by level D. And she's already reading text at level H. So she is way beyond kindergarten reading level, and we were just so, so proud of her. So I just stuck a sticker on here that says, Way to Go, and some stars, and put it in my book. Um, I have a lot of inserts this week. Um, this is another insert. Um, my son um, is in the drama club and drama classes at school. He is a sophomore in high school. And this is the flyer. This is the flyer um, from um, his play that was um, happening this week. So um, I have the flyer in here, and then the little insert. Um, these stickers you see here are all from um, the paper studio at Hobby Lobby. It was all about drama, so I was perfect. So I did some journaling here. I stuck the washi tape and some stickers here in front of the theater at the high school. This is the um, actors at the end on stage at the sticker and then Teresa Collins sparkly um, gold stars. And then um, here is some more stickers from that same pack here and here and, and here. And this is some more Teresa Collins stars and some enamel dots. And then this is just um, a Gossamer Blue card and some journaling. This is my son. Um, he wasn't um, acting in this play this time. He was in the sound booth doing the um, sound effects and the lighting. So this is a collage. This is the picture of the sound booth he was in. And these are the two um, machines he was using to control those. And then this is just um, my ticket to get into the play. I had to go by myself. My daughter had to work, so um, she wasn't able to go. And my husband had to stay with the other little kids, so I just went by myself. And then um, this is a printable I found on Google Images, and I just put it in my Fonto app and added is here. And then um, this is a Gossamer Blue card with some Teresa Collins um, um, sequence. And this is just about my daughter going to PetSmart, PetSmart and getting some more fish for her aquarium in her room. Um, I have some fillers here for spring. Um, this is the Gossamer Blue card, some Gossamer Blue free printables, and um, a My Mind's Eye um, chipboard button that I got from Gossamer Blue. I also have some more over here. And then um, this is a picture of my daughter's brown paper bag. She likes to take on walks and collect little things like leaves and flowers and um, twigs and stuff that she finds. And then this is just a quote I found online that I printed out. And um, I framed it with a piece of 
vellum, a vellum 3x4 card I got from Gossamer Blue. That's the other side of it. Um, another um, Gossamer Blue card show, talking about my first um, handmade fedori that I made. Um, down here um, talks about how we finally got the keys to our new lock box mailboxes. So my neighbor was um, chopping the old ones down and um, giving um, all the neighbors their actual mailbox. And this is ours right here. And this is just a free printable from Gossamer Blue. A wood veneer from Gossamer Blue. It says Simple Joys. Um, here he is um, doing the demolition of the old mailboxes. And then here's my daughter just um, holding um, our mailbox that we got to take home. And right now um, she's actually painting it and decorating it. We're going to use it for like a um, planner box or something. And um, I'll put that later when she's finished with it. And then this flare button is from Studio Calico. It's an old button that I've had in my stash for a long time. And these are some printables from the Gossamer Blue kit as well. Same with this card is a Gossamer Blue card. So that is my week 11 and 12 and I hope you enjoyed it. And <clears throat> my next video will be weeks 13 and 14 which will be the last two weeks in my first album for 2015. Um, week 15 will be in a brand new album for my book 2 for 2015. And um, yeah, I can't believe I've already filled up a whole album. But um, the year is going by quickly. So hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next time. Bye!